Welcome back, everybody, to another GoGo's Crazy Bone Booster Cracking video. We are finally jumping in to the brand new Brazilian release of PKXD plus GoGo's Crazy Bones. If you saw the teaser video on Wednesday, we opened up the package. It came all the way in from across the world for me. I'm super stoked to finally have these in. Very, very excited. I know a lot of you guys are too. There will be some codes being handed out during the video. So if you are a PKXD fan over from Brazil and you want to get some of these codes, feel free and take them. I'm not playing the game, so I'm not using them. I might make it a little bit challenging and like cover up one of the letters or something. We'll see. That way everybody has a fair shot of getting a code. But we have a starter pack to hopefully crack into if we need to, if we need to find an extra figure or something, potentially this could be our option right here. We might even try to break into this first so we can like start going on like the checklist or something. We got that sticker checklist in here. Uh, I definitely want to fill that out. So this might be first, but maybe we'll save the Go-Go's for the end. We'll keep them in the bag, keep them sealed for now. And then we've got the entire full box of the PKXD line here. We've got a bunch of packs. There's uh, I believe 10 pamphlets that come included in the the bag so we got to find all 10 of the pamphlets and then there's 40 figures 42 if you include the two precious metals that's involved we're going to go into that in a second too i'll show you on the checklist and whatnot which ones we'll be going for there's like 20 human figures and then there's like 20 of like the more animal figures so we should be able to find at least like 98 percent of the figures in this box we might be missing one we'll see it's kind of how these boxes are lined up you should get most of them and then hopefully we get a precious metal that'll take the place of another figure that will probably be missing but that's where the starter pack comes in so i hope you guys are super stoked and excited leave a like on the video if you enjoy the opening and let's go ahead and take a look at this box and start cracking these packs all right so first up i definitely do want to look at this starter pack that way we can get the little bags out and stuff i'm just going to keep the go-go's inside for the end of the video so we can try to clean it up and get that last remaining go-go that we might need we'll see we'll get a couple extra dupes and stuff like that so but we can check out some of these and we can check out uh hopefully a really nice checklist I think I'll probably have one up on screen too, just to kind of go as we go, we can start checking them off. But all right, let's see, is there a tear on this thing? Where are we opening this from? There is a little tear. All right, let's do this carefully. Don't want to like mess this bag up too much. This is probably the only starter pack I'll get. Okay, I kind of tore it a bit. We didn't even look at the back too much. We can get a little bit of a closer view of all the nice figures in the set. All right, so this is a perfect opportunity actually before we take all the contents out. So we got our like 20 human figures and then our 20 animal figures. So then we have two options for precious metals. We got a gold admin and a silver glitch. These are the two figures you can only find in these two colors. And glitch is always in silver, admin is always in gold. Love to get the gold. I prefer Glitch, the look of him. He's a sweet looking figure, uh, but I definitely would like to get the gold, you know, because who doesn't want to get the gold figures? All right, so let's pull out this little poster checklist. Is this a big poster? Oh, it is. It unfolds quite a bit. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's going to take up the whole table. Wow. So you can find how many, we got 80 different stickers we can fill out on this thing. Holy crap, is that even possible to do with the box? I am not sure. That's still pretty sweet though. Like some of the faces I see, and then we've got like girl power, game over. So miscellaneous stickers. It's not quite like checklist off for each go go. There are some of the go go's on here, and then it's just like random stickers. Still interesting, still unique. Do the bags have the go go's in them? Okay, perfect. So we got the pouch, and it's got our five different go go figures in here, but we're gonna wait until the end to reveal what this is. But there we go. We got the nice logo and everything on this. Pretty sick. The classic drawstring bag that we're used to seeing from Crazy Bones. And what else we got in here? Okay, we've got. Our little pamphlets, very nice. All right, so number two, this is the glitch one. We've got how many in here? Number five, they're all stuck together kind of. Admin number one, there we go. So number one, number two, number four, and then I'm assuming we got number three in here. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, four, and five. Very, very cool. All right, let's check out one of these things. Let's see what's going on here. We open it up. It's got some information about the game or something, I'm assuming. Just this little stuff in here. And then we've got the next page information about admin, the character. 
very nice. And if anybody can, you know, tr you can Google translate this or something. This is all in uh, other language. I'm not going to look up. Oh, well, there's the code for the first one, for the first admin code right there. Uh, in the future, I think I'm just going to try to hide the very, very last letter and let you guys guess it so everybody has a chance to get it. But that's how to look. There's the code you'll punch in. It's got a nice little stand figurine of the GoGo -Go itself for admin here. Pretty sweet. And then we got stickers. Let's go. Now we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. We get a lot, actually. Seven, eight. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we'll probably easily fill out the sticker sheet then. That's good to know. Okay. Okay. More information about the game. And let's see what else we got in here. More little editorials, things like that. Just more info about everything. But each of these will give you your code and a punch of stickers, which is great. I'm really glad about the sticker quantity. Let's check out stickers for book number two with Glitch. We've got a little robot sticker. We got a little turd <laughs> emoji, which is hilarious. And then we've got the code for Glitch. Did I reveal it? Oh, oh, I revealed that one too. I'll have to get better about that, but there's another one. Oh, we got a little slime dude. That's funny. Glance at him for the go-go, and then we've got the code. So there you go. There's the two codes right there for those guys. Take them if you can grab them first. Anybody, they're all up for grabs. I'm just going to try to leave it a little bit more obscured next time. Let's see. All right, on this one, I'm covering up the very last number. So go ahead, take the code, and there's one number that I'm hiding that you'll just have to guess. And if you get it, congrats, you got it. That's works for me, works for you. That's how you can get the codes. Next page, though, we got more stickers, more like emoji stickers, pretty funny. And then a couple crazy bone stickers, more emojis, and another crazy bone one. Is that the actual crazy? No, it's more of a pop arty version of it. Still cool though, still very nice. Going into book number four, already getting these booklets is great. Love that. Now what are these? Match the crazy bones or something? Little games or something in here too? That's a weird thing. What the heck is that? Is that supposed to be ice cream? Okay. A cauldron, a little fox, the dragon. This is a goofy looking like elephant dude. He's pretty funny. And what we got here, a ghost, a cat. And then the next page is that code. I am covering up one of the numbers below. So have fun, go for it. See what you can find for a code for this thing. He's a cool looking figure. He's funny. He's like, it's got this little kind of professor-y vibe almost. It's kind of interesting. And lastly, we got a number five. Let's see here. Let's go into this one. Check out the stickers. A little puppy dog waking up to an alarm. We've got, oh, I want that panda ghost. He's so cool. We should get him no problem. And we got the girl power sticker, a camel. And then the next page, we have our code for this crazy looking like robot koala dude or something. So there is the full code. Take it, use it, and guess that last letter or number. Good luck. Cool. So they, that is it for the starter pack. They don't provide you with like a normal, just basic checklist. I was kind of hoping to get a checklist like this just in like a paper form that we could check off. But this is one they provide online. They have a PDF of one online. It looks really nice. It's a very clean checklist, very happy with it. So we'll kind of go along with that and check out stuff as we go. Starter pack is done. So now we can pull out the actual box, take a closer look, we'll get it set up. And we got a little bit of crackage here just from shipping and whatnot, but look at that. I love that little like kind of eagle owl dude. And I love the Yeti, the Yeti's super cool too. Go goes crazy bones, you name it, they got it on here. We got the silver glitch making an appearance. I love this frog skeleton dude. I don't even know what's going on, but he looks sweet. And this box is just ready to open up. So let's see what it looks like inside. Let's see how messy the packs are in here. A little bit messy, a little bit messy, but these are your individual packs that you can find and pick up if you are in the region. And again, they'll come with a go-go and they'll come with one of these booklets, which will give you a code and give you some stickers. Really, really cool. We got a bunch of them in here. Really nice. So let's flip the camera down a little bit, make it easier to open up and start getting these open. All right, we saw the box, we saw the starter kits. So now we can get going on these lovely packs. We'll take a little bit of a closer look at these things. So one mini go-go, PKXD go-go. Fun, fun, fun. All the packaging looking classic. Okay, so who is gonna be our first poll? Let's find out. Let's take out the little pamphlet first and we'll check out, oh man, the sticker sheet. I'm gonna have to do that at the end and then see how many 
we got. See if we got them all. There is our first little code for you, just straight up. I didn't even block out the number, that's okay. And then we've got our other little information. You've seen it a few times now, so that's cool. We just gotta get the other remaining five. Who is our first go-go? Kabang, look at you, look at you. Oh my goodness. Now I've heard the paint is pretty delicate on these, so this is gonna be more of a collector-y thing, not so much a flick and play type go-go because this paint is easily scratched off. So we gotta be really gentle with these guys. I can feel it too. The paint feels pretty kind of like, I guess, soft almost in a way. It's, um, it doesn't feel quite as sturdy as some of the other paint jobs on Go-Go's, uh, but it's got the nice feel. It's got the nice back leg butt position thing going on. It's got the PPI and the stamp and the nice little numbers on it. What number are you? 13. Very, very cool. Now I don't have names memorized here outside of a couple like admin and glitch. So I'll be putting up names of all these guys on the screen just so we can kind of keep a tally of them. He's pretty cool though. He's pretty sharp. I like him. It almost looks like a sticker. Like his glasses almost look like a sticker, which is kind of funny. All right, that's our first one down. Let's put him off over here and we'll move on to the next pack. We're going to start going through them faster now that we've kind of seen everything. This guy's just ready to fall out. So let's pull him out and take a look. Ooh, he's got like robot arms. Pretty sick looking. Now the plastic on the top of his head feels different than him a little bit. This has kind of got like a matted paint job on it. And this one's got like that gloss plastic, which I'm a fan of the glossy plastic. This is what we're used to from like the classic, like the older series, series one and stuff like that. But then they have this weird kind of like matted paint job for the coloring and the details. Still looks nice. Still looks nice. And they only did half the body for the painting. You can see how they kind of just went halfway and then they stop. And the, the back is just all blank. So interesting choice on that. But he is a cool figure. I like him a lot, actually. He's neat. Give me more of the gloss. I like the shimmer and shine of these Go-Go's. When they start going matted like this guy, mm, it's just okay for me. It's just okay. But I, I at least like the mix. I like the mix between the two. Let's take out a little code here. Let's show it off for you guys. Let's see if there's any more stickers that we haven't seen yet. I think we've seen all these. But there's the code right there. Go ahead and guess that last little letter at the the end good luck and we'll keep moving on to the next pack let's see i don't want the go-go to just jump right out at us here let's go through these we got number four here for the pets let's get you guys a little code bang there it is good luck now let's get the go-go out oh we've got the very cool kind of like how would you describe her she's not like emo she's got a vibe though she's got a cool vibe i, I quite like her vibe she's got a neat little hat She's got cool, like, purple hair and clothing. I like her figure a lot. When I saw this one on the list, I was like, she's neat. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot, actually. She is a really cool figure. I'll have to get her name because I can't remember it. Oh, see, that matted paint really covers up the PPI stamp on the back. It's quite, quite difficult to actually see the numbering over that matted paint that they just glossed over the whole figure. Interesting. See, that's, I don't know if I like that about the matted paint on these because it's quite difficult to read that nice stamped logo. I, I like can't even read it at all, honestly. That's actually crazy. It completely covers it. It almost makes me curious, like, what kind of a paint job is underneath. Probably this gray, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. This All this black, though, is just a matted paint on it. I want to know the number. I want to be able to see the number, you know? Good figure so far. Let's keep going. Cross our fingers for a nice metal. Oh, we got number six, Dread Boy. Very, very good. So this is a new one that we haven't gotten yet. There is kind of the contents going in, and there is the code. Oh, that's the guy that we got before. Okay, that was the first one we pulled. So Dread Boy. Yeah, Dread Boy, number six. Very cool. Game Over stickers, Frankenstein stickers. I bet they give you the same stickers for each pamphlet. It's probably how it goes. So we got penguins, robots. Very cool. But who is the go-go? Let's see. Who do we got hiding in here? Kabang. We've got the Stegosaurus little dinosaur dude. He's hilarious. I like his little... He's got like a pastel green to him. But he looks cool. I like his vibe. He's got a good little vibe. It's a, it's a nice little feel. At least you can read the 
Nice little numbers on the back of this one. Number two for the Dino one. Now they split the humans and the pets into two separate categories. So there's a one through 20 for the humans and there's a one through 20 for the pets, which is an interesting choice. So this is number two for the animals or pets. Let's keep going. We're, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just check to see if we have the checklist and we're gonna set it off to the side right here and then we'll blaze through a bunch of codes in a minute. So we'll do it that way. So let's pull out our next guy and we've got this awesome look. I love his character. He's so neat. He's got this kind of like green zombie skull on his head and then one of those dress up like skeleton costumes, which is hilarious and super cool. I love it. Number 19, you can read it on this one. Must be that heavy black paint that just covers up all the rest of the, the numbers on these. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But luckily they used green on the back of him so we can read it. But I love this character. He's so cool. Next up, let's see what pamphlet we got. We got number five again. All right, but we're going to pass on that for now. We'll get you all those codes in a minute. Let's do our little crazy looking robotic koala Iron Man dude. I don't even know. He's hilarious, but he's a cool looking figure. He's got a lot of like good like series one vibes, but obviously a lot more detail on him. He's very cool. This should be number 20. Yes, number 20 from the humans, the last one of the humans. And it kind of like bleeds into that man, more animalistic pet vibe almost. So it's a good like lead into the next series of pets versions, which is funny. But he's an interesting figure. I like him though. It's almost, is it bat? I don't know. I look, I look at him and I see like koala or something. I don't know. What's his name? Zala, Zala or something. And Nathana. Uh, that's... I think there's different names for them in the English. We'll see, but he's a cool figure. I like it. Next one, let's go. We've got a new one. Universo PKXD Gogo number 10. Very nice. So we got the number 10 slot. And who's our Gogo inside? The Ghost Panda. I love it. I love it. Is he missing? Oh, he is missing hands. That's hilarious. He's got like a little bone poking out. Ah, uh, he's cool. He's a cute one. I like him a lot. Probably one of my favorites from the series from what I've seen. He's just really unique. I like his vibe a lot. Really cool. Number 19 off the pet side. He's got the glowing green eyes and the goofy little Halloween costume vibe. I dig him. He's super neat. All right. So let's get another checklist out here. We got minigames number nine. Very nice. Very nice. And who is our go-go? Kabang, we've got the dragon, the frumpy dragon queen here. She's got the eyelashes, she's got the horns, she's got the very cool little wings, very similar vibes to the dinosaur stego over here. I think there's another dragon in here too, but he's neat. They're very frumpy and ovally in this series, number 15 from the pets, uh, but I dig it. I dig it. And it's a different color green too. They didn't just reuse the same green. It's a different kind of pastel -y green, but a different shade, which is, it's nice that they did a bunch of different colors and they just didn't reuse the same. I think that helps, makes it more unique and whatnot. All right, we'll do this one. We got number two, we already had this one, so that's fine. And then we'll go over codes after we reveal. Oh, our little cool guy right here. Is this, this is admin, isn't it? This is our main boy admin, I think. Let's see, I think admin's number one. No, this isn't the main admin guy, is it? Oh, I'll have to see, I forget. He's cool though. He's got like these little devil horns on him. He's got wings. He's pretty sick. Now I wish they maybe added a touch more color in his like bodysuit here. Maybe a couple pieces of that light blue or the yellow on his body piece. Uh, because he's got a cool little costume design, but they just made it all blue. Maybe something to differentiate it from the hair would have been a good decision. But I like the little details of the nose and the little cheek markings that they added on him, which is an interesting choice, but I dig that. It's like a little scar on his face. Okay, codes, let's do this. Code number one, let's get it. Code number two, there we go. I like this character a lot too. Can't wait to get that one. Oh, here's kind of a checklist. I just opened up this one and this has kind of like a little mini checklist in it, which is interesting. There's your code for that one, just giving you that one straight away. But this is kind of the checklist I wanted, and this looks like it's the all human checklist. So there's our blue guy we got. 
There's the admin. He's in gold. Yes, he's in the yellow. Okay, so that's kind of cool that they, they do have them in these little pamphlets. Here's another code. Guess the final letter at the end. And here's one more code for you. Guess the number at the end. Let's keep going. I think we'll do the same thing. I like how that worked. We can just power through codes, power through go-go's. Let's get it. That was number two. We already have that. This guy, this guy has some some classic like uh j box vibes and stuff like that like those classic figures which is hilarious what does he got on his shirt is he like a pizza dude he's like a pizza dude with cool sunglasses which is hilarious skin tone mat on the back and it is covering up the number on this one huh extra extra coat of paint on this guy can't see it hmm. he's cool though i dig his vibe he's got a he's got some clean sunglasses on him next one give me a gold come on we got number five already oh 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 it fell it fell oh oh we got heart sunglasses this one quality is a bit lacking on this one the, the sunglasses are a little lopsided and is this like is she wearing like a kill bill style suit or something it almost looks like she is but mm, it's a little sloppy a little sloppy on the arms and the sunglasses. Not too impressive of a character, but that's okay. They can't all be winners. Another one. Let's go. We've got number eight pets. Now, I'm just going to look in this front section. Code in a minute on that, but right now, we've got to open up and get ourselves... What are you, a raccoon? What is, what is this? I think it's a raccoon. Kind of looks like a raccoon, right? It's just got a weird shape for a raccoon that you don't normally see. But he's cool. He's like the panda. He's neat. I like the little, like, I don't know, wee bear bear vibes that these guys give. I mean, they just kind of remind me of that in some way. Rounded eyes, rounded belly, ovally bo bodies and stuff. It, it's kind of neat. I dig it. I dig it. Let's do another one here. Let's pull out this. We got number nine again, mini PKXT. Give me the goat. He's a cool goat. Now see, he's got that gloss. And he's only got a little bit of matted paint on his horns, but I love the gloss of this one. I see my favorites are just going to be the ones that keep this nice gloss finish. Really, really sharp. Cool goat. He's got a good vibe too. I'm not the biggest fan of when Go-Go's does uh, like animal stuff, but for the most part, I think all the designs work pretty stinking well for the animals and pets of PKX. I mean, come on, look at that. Look at that little like duck. He's cool, man. All right, so... This one is the same shade as our dragon. Just to note, there are a couple that use the same color palette. So they didn't change them all specifically to different colors. But he's a cool duck. I like him a lot. Next, let's do this. We've got, oh, uh, number three. We had number three. He's cool, though. I like his vibe. He's got, like, the little COVID mask on and everything. Uh, who do we got in here, though? Oh, we got our basic boy with the bow tie and the comb over hair and the really awkward paint job of this brown hair to purple. Interesting choice. We can read the numbering, but just barely. Looks like number 11. Uh, the matted paint on this one is covering it a bit. Yeah, he's playing Jane. He's going to go next to like a heart glasses girl. He's not super impressive. And I'm not a fan of that half and half paint coating that they do. It's interesting. A very simple figure. Not a lot of creative liberties taken on that one, but that's all right. Let's see, we got pets again, and we've got, oh, our mighty eagle, owl, crazy Iron Man suited looking pet dude. He is cool. He stands nicely. He's got a good, like solid crazy bone vibe. He is in that matted paint all over. None of this is glossy, um, which is a bummer because I would love to test a flick. And you can see, you can see it's chipping already right here at the edge a little bit. That's not like a, a flake of paper or anything. That's actually chipping the actual paint, which is a bummer, a big bummer. I got to keep these really nice. I'm going to pack these away like very securely so they don't chip anymore. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll open up some codes. So we got, oh, wait, number seven. Do we not have you? I don't think we have number seven yet. So that's good. We'll line those up at the end too and make sure we got them all. We've got the little puppy dog, the little bulldog man. He's got purple ears, which is funny, but he's cute. He's cute. He's got a fun vibe too. 
He's kind of sitting there with his arms on his hips, getting mad, getting angry or something. It's goofy, but I like him. Uh, matted paint covering up the number. You can slightly see it, but not quite illegible. Uh, he's a bit scuffed and dirty, too, if you can see that. He's a little dirtied up. So you got to you gotta keep good care of your PKXD Go-Go's. If you guys start to battle these boys, just be prepared for them to get scuffed into oblivion on first flick. Trust me, these, these guys are going to get cracked like, like that. It's going to be crazy. All right, let's do some codes. Boom, code it. Get the number at the end. Another code for you, number at the end. Guess the letter at the end. I honestly have no idea what these codes will give you in game, but go enjoy, you're welcome. Here's another one. And just remember, I am covering up one number or letter. So just whoever gets these can try out a few different things. And if you get it, you get it. A lot of the same. We're getting a lot of duplicates of these, uh, these little pamphlets, which is funny. There is only 10 though. So what are you going to do? Last one for right now. And let's open up some more packs. We're getting a nice clean lineup of Go-Go's. And it looks like we've got, oh, it's a glitch. Now look at how cool he looks. He looks awesome. I really dig how glitch looks. He is a really cool go-go. Uh, matted black, but we can read the number. We can actually read it on this one, if you can tell on the camera. Uh, it is legible, which is cool. I dig that. It's a nicer finish, nicer coat on this one. What's our pan foot in here? Number three, okay. Next up, let's get it. Oh, he flew out, almost flew out. We got a weird kind of like unicorn. Horny, pompadori, donkey, horsey dude. I don't even know. Are you a donkey or a horse? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Number seven. Why are we? Which one are we actually missing here? Have we gotten number six? That might be the only one we're missing. No, we did get six. I think we got all ten then. Here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Number seven. And now we can just kind of focus on go-go's and clean up the codes afterwards. Uh, this guy's cute. Another little doggy. He's got a little floofy little ponytail thingy on the top of his head. Let's see if he's just as scuzzed up. Not quite. Number five, you can read that very, very clearly on this one. So good matted paint job on this one. Not too heavy with the brush or however they did it with these. I'm glad he's not scuffing like my other doggo. Boom. Let's get into the go-go. I'm seeing a glossy white once again. It's my boy, the Yeti. He looks so amazing. Oh, come on. That looks so clean, so clean. It's all this nice glossiness, except for like this blue right here. He's such a cool go-go. I dig him so much. Number four from the pet side of things. He's so cool. I mean, come on. He's so neat. Such a good idea. Do a little Yeti man. Do a, do a bunch of cryptids. They need a cryptids go-go series. That would be amazing. There's so many cool cryptids that could turn into go-go's. That would be such a good idea that would sell so well in today's like internet age that would be a, a fire idea another one now let's see what do we got we'll pull out this get that out of the way and who do we got in here we've got a very cheery-eyed happy girl she's starry-eyed a bit a lot cleaner a lot cleaner than our heart sunglasses girl i i prefer her she looks a lot cleaner arms paint job is a lot cleaner but the back, we can read the number, number seven. So that's good. That is clean. Another pack. Let's get it out. So we got pamphlet and we got a... Huh! Oh, it's like the main little girl here. Kind of the girl admin version girl, I guess you could say. She's got the wing. She's got the vibe. She's got the headphones and the little anime cat girl ear thing on here. It's funny, but she's cool. She's at least got some differences in color on her that break her apart quite nicely. Again, the half and half paint, but it's not as noticeable as some of the other ones just because it kind of blends into the nice headset and stuff like that. But she's got really good detail. I'm a fan of this one. It's a good one. And I've always said that Crazy Bones needs better girl characters. Uh, they're nailing it with kind of more of the cutesified version of girl characters. I think it works pretty darn well with Go-Go. So good job on these. Please give me a medal. Please, please, please. All right, not in this one. We've got our Professor Mustache Man, which is hilarious. He's funny. Is he a professor or something, though? Or is he just wearing... Just looks like he's wearing like a white t-shirt and white pants. But he's cool. Oh, no. <laughs> what would you do with your hair, bro? Oh, no. See, just make it black. That's it. Just 
don't don't do this half and half thing oh that looks not great like that but i do like him from the front he is cool i like the mr mustache man he's neat just gotta do better with this half and half paint thing it just gets a little lazy i'm sure they're cutting costs by doing that but i think they can still do better all right here we go what do we got in this one give me the oh for a second i thought i saw silver but we got another girl figure here she's got a little pom-pom hair she's cool she's cool a uh, little sloppy on the paint job on her arm it's bleeding out a little bit but she is a cool go-go let's see how the oh yep yeah, is covered Oh, that matted paint is covering the number like crazy. Okay, she's cool though, she's cool. We'll do some codes really quick. Bang, there's just one straight up for you. Boom, here's another one. Guess the letter, pause the video, grab the code, have your fun, quick flash. We'll do a scan of this one. Okay, quick flash, you ready? Bang. Okay, we are definitely like already halfway through the box. Pretty crazy, but we are getting there. I just gotta hope that our nice like metal is hiding somewhere in here. Who do we have here? What do, what are you? What are you? An otter? A beaver? It's got to be a beaver, right? He doesn't have a tail. We can see the number, number fifteen, but he is weird. Oh, I don't know what to make of you. You're interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, he's goofy. He's got he's got a vibe to him. What's in this one? All right, let's see. Get this out of the way and give me the go go. Oh, it's a cool man. Very nice. He's got the uh, three levels of painting here on him with the red and the blue and then the nice skin tone. He's got like a little ice cream dollop head too. It's kind of funny, kind of classic. But again, that paint, ah, very much like the our little mustache professor man. Oh, that just looks so not clean. Oh, no. <laughs> But he's got such a great vibe. I wish they had fully, fully painted the whole figure because he looks, he's hes a cool vibe. I dig him a lot. Another one. Let's get it open. All right. Who do we got in here? Can we get lucky? Please give me a medal. Oh, oh, this guy looks amazing. I love his look. He's kind of like our skeleton dude. He's got the little zombie skull head, but he's like, is he a mummy or something? Yeah, I think he's like a mummy. He's got this kind of like, white outfit on which is funny it's kind of plain on the outfit but he's got such a nice little goofy expression emoji expression and i just i dig this little zombie helmet thing it gives a lot of life to the character i feel like it's got the gloss white on it with the matted colors over top uh just on you know the one side still but he's cool i dig him a lot uh where's our other one he's right here they'll go together they fit pretty nicely all right next give me a precious metal let's see it come on now oh we've got our hippopotamus in a nice looking purple I'm a fan of that purple it's a bit dark maybe a little bit lighter but it's cool it's a different kind of color than the other purples that we've seen too it's kind of more like a bluish purple but he's a cool little hippo man uh, number 20 in the pets. Okay, very nice. Please give me a medal. We gotta find one. Please don't let me be unlucky here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's our penguin. Oh, look at you. Little penguin. He's got a weird shape. He's got like a bulbish shape to him, which is interesting design choice, but he's cool. We can read this black mat on here. Uh, number seven of the pets. Okay. Where is my metal hiding? Let's do this. Come on. We've got bang. Oh, another nice glossy unicorn. Whoa, he's cool. I see. Look at how much like detail they put in just on the horn, but they left the rest of him gloss. This is a classic go go vibe, and I am about it. I am about it. I like him a lot too. Very much like the Yeti. It's just got a good vibe. This nice glossy white is really crushing it right now for me. All right, let's do another one. Then we'll get into some codes for you guys here. Give me a banger. Boom. Okay, what are you? What are you supposed to be? I don't actually know. A capybara or something like that? I know there's like capybara in here, isn't there? A mouse? I don't know what you are. Interesting. Kind of plain as far as the pets go. Number 17. He's got like a cool little green nose though. I do dig that. His ears and nose are colored kind of nicely. It makes him kind of unique and standout-ish. Uh, but I don't know what he is for sure. 
that's interesting. And then we've got codes. Boom, bang, another one. What the heck? Oh, that's like an actual 3D model from the game of the unicorn. Okay, interesting. I'm catching some of the stickers as I go through them here. There you go. Guess the letter. And one more. There you go. Okay, okay. On to it. We're going to finish up the box here and then we're going to see what kind of figures we got in the starter kit but i am just hoping hoping that we get some kind of precious metal in this box in these last few packs a nice looking fox he has a lot of fun to him right there and you know he is just he's excellent look at that number one for the pets oh my you are a great looking fox that is awesome boom into another get that out of the way here and pull out my precious no not my precious metal okay that's all right oh you're cool man oh i like your vibe you got a good vibe too the red doesn't distract too much on this one i feel like it almost just looks like he's wearing kind of like a hoodie or something like that but you are cool you've got a good little thing going here you got like freckles on you too that is really really clever i like i like his outfit it's sharp sharp oh forgot to look at the number all right the number's kind of losing its quality here but i think you can read it a bit number two yeah here we go let's get out this go-go oh no it felt a little bit more cold than i thought maybe we got a precious but we got a piggy piggy with the green nose he's cute he's got a little belly he's got this little they got this little frou-frou thing on the top of their heads which is pretty hysterical but i'm about it come on let's see it this video is getting long this is going to be a long video but i don't care oh we've got the kitty cat are you a kitty cat what or are you a bat are you a bat or a black cat i don't know i don't see wings it's like a weird mix and it's confusing me honestly it's really confusing me I like the teal eyes and the purple on him a lot, actually. You cannot see the number like whatsoever on this one. That heavy, heavy coat of black paint is covering it all up, but he is a pretty cool character. Here's another. Let's get it. Take this out of the way. We'll get to those codes. And kabang, we've got the weird looking frumpy dumpy pig elephant weird snage. I don't even know circus elephant thing he's a weird creature he's an interesting one but I at least prefer this kind of taking creative liberties with some of these animals and spicing them up I dig it I do I dig it a lot can we read the number 18 for the pets and we only have three packs remaining three more chances to get ourselves a nice gold figure what do we got ah, okay another one from the humans she's got a big old dome a big old forehead she's got a little skirt on and she's sticking her tongue out she's goofy she's quirky she's funny and she's got a giant giant skull for some reason which is hilarious to me and again this one at least it's half and half still but it blends because her hair is that dark kind of like grayish purple and it just goes into the rest of the back of her figure so it could almost just blend as much as like it's just extra long hair or something covering the back of her and that makes more sense to me than some of these other ones please please give me a medal oh please oh it's gonna be so hard to find the medals from this series just online oh we didn't get it in this one cool looking flavor on you though i like your little pompadour hairy thing going on here it looks pretty sick pretty clean nice looking outfit I dig it. You got a vibe. You got a cool vibe. Uh, can't read the number though. Very heavy on the paint. Oh boy. All right. Our last pack. Listen, I had fun. I had fun with this series and we still have the ones in the starter pack. So if we don't get the precious metal in here, it's okay. I will complete it eventually. At least there's only two to get. It's just admin and glitch silver and gold. So we'll see what we can do here. Uh, if anybody has extras of those or wants to trade, let me know because I would love to have a full complete set of these guys but what is our last figure it is admin admin number one on the list of the humans just the regular version of admin looking sleepy he's a sleepy guardian angel dude i guess i don't know what his vibe's supposed to be but this is one of those mainstay characters from the game it, it would appear uh that's just me guessing since i don't know too much about it and we can read the number which is nice so there we go cool admin to finish up the box no precious metals in the box itself 
but we still have our little starter bag to go through. So let's do these codes really quick and then see if we can find another figure. Here's a freebie one and take a guess on this one. Two more for you, another. Okay, you gotta guess the last two numbers on this one, okay? I'm leaving a slight little angle here so maybe you can have somewhat of an educated guess. Last one, guess the letter. So is the pets checklist in this one? Is it? I don't know. I feel like there should be a pets checklist in one of these and I haven't found it yet. Oh, it was in the same one. Number 10 has the checklist for both. So you get this one right here. And then at the end of the book, you get the one with the pets. So there we go. That makes more sense. And we did manage to get all 10 of the booklets. It's easy to do when you have a box. One, two, three. Very, very cool. The one to get is definitely number 10, just for the fact that you get that nice little checklist in there. But here's all 10 of them. Pretty sick. We've got so many stickers to put on that nice little poster, and this is the one you want because it'll give you everything you need here with this. Now I can actually check to see if I got them all. But first, let's open our starter pack one. Okay, the final, final few Go-Go's. Five Go-Go's in this little pack, this little pouchy pouch. We're just going to grab and pull one at a time. Who's our first double? We got this girl. Okay, so this will be an interesting comparison, though, because can we read the number? No. We cannot, it's very, very heavy paint on her too. She's got a little chippage going on on the side of her head, unfortunately. Uh, so we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. These have been knocking around in the pack, uh, you know, not covered with anything, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bummer. And there's our nice little robot arm man. I dig him, I dig him, cause you know, I like that glossy gloss. Who's this guy? Oh, we got the mustache man again too. Okay, all right, not bad. Were you one that was, yeah, so you can't read it on that guy either. Interesting. All right, we should have two more in here. What is this one? Oh, okay. I was a fan of you. You look like you might be in a little bit cleaner condition too, actually. And then the last one from the starter is this guy. Very cool. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, phew, phew. For a second, I thought that was like paint coming off, but it was just a piece of nylon or whatever rope from that bag itself. So there we go. There's our last figure and we can read the number on him. So that's good. And this little pouch is awesome. I love these pouches. They're great. They're great. But I do not recommend storing your PKXD to go goes in here. They will knock around and get all scraped up and you'll lose all that nice paint jobs on these. Nobody wants that. Very quickly, I'm going to mark off who I have just to see if we got them all. Humans are done outside of the two precious metals so i'm done with one through 20 of these guys i just need to get admin and glitch in that gold and silver and great news we did get all of the pets the animals they are all complete excellent excellent so i'm literally just missing the precious metals so i'm gonna have to extend some help from the gogo -Go community because i would love to get my hands on a couple of those so i can have the full set in its completion there you go there's one more solid look at the pkxd gogos that was super cool i'm glad i got all of them minus the precious metals this was super super fun let's just do one last little close-up view of these guys before we head out to the outro make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying these awesome little guys. That's gonna do it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I had a blast with these figures. It was super cool to just get it. My hands on a brand new set of GoGo's Crazy Bones in 2024. Stay tuned for more Crazy Bone openings. I really wanna dive back into some of the classic series, the original OG, 90s classic go go series want to get back into some of those and if you haven't checked out the master set for series one we're hunting for the full complete collection of all the colors and everything we just did an unboxing and a pack cracking of that just a week ago go check out that video if you haven't seen it and you're new to the channel and stay tuned for more of those because i have more boxes and more packs of crazy bones that's just waiting to be cracked open and finding all the cool little awesome figures inside so stay tuned for those and hopefully you guys have a great rest of the week. We will catch you in the next video.